Hey everybody, so today we have here is a very new A2338 MacBook Pro. This is the M1 version of the, the new MacBook Pros that have been coming out. And just a little quick little overview, um, just kind of how our thoughts are, especially for our store, and um, just to kind of see what's really going on with it. So we have it new here. It's very nice. It does have that the new keyboard that's been on the 2020 MacBook Pros and even MacBook Airs. If you actually see the meme of them actually opening up the MacBook, it's supposed to open up by the time you actually have it completely open. So it's a very quick uh, opening time. Um, we're just going to do a little quick overview. Obviously, we're a tech shop. We want to actually we're curious to see how it compares to the other MacBook, especially like the Intel ones. We have this one in actually for, for more of a repair. And this is the A2159. This is a, a 2019 MacBook Pro. And if you can hear that, that's the one with the actual scissor switch. This is the older model. That's right before they updated the new keyboards. Oh, the new ones, they basically put the, the older version of the keyboard onto the newer one, which is still very nice, obviously, because it's a little bit better and it doesn't have those issues as much anymore. Let's just go open it up, at least see what the connections are, see any differences that we notice, and just kind of our impressions. So let's see if this opens up any differently. It probably shouldn't. I don't want to see if there's any new latches, though, because those are usually the things that really go on, is they have, like, latches actually there in the first place. So let's see if there's anything like that here, or if it'll just open, like, the newer ones. So let's see. We always like to see a surprise come to see if there's any difference, especially just opening it or anything else like to just see so you gotta use your little suction cup so it's especially if it's a newer one so you just want to get underneath it too as you hear clicks okay that's the same all right that's about the same there too and that's a lift and then you can just kind of pull it all right now you can just kind of pull it there and it will come off all right so let's see what we have here All right, so it looks pretty similar to the old ones, um, especially that we do have some at least uh, newer chips here. Um, the processor still has the heat sink that if to open it and put a thermal paste or anything, it's on the other side. This chip should have all the, the components that are actually on it. We're not going to actually open it up today. We're just taking, when you open it, we're just taking a little quick look to see inside if there's any major differences. So you still have that fan here, and you actually have, uh, for this one, especially on the airs, the airs actually don't have the fin anymore, but this is a nice thick little heat sink here. And this is the, the M1 chip that's actually underneath here. And it looks like it's going to have at least decent cooling. And at least the, the fin actually looks quite a bit, it looks pretty thick here. Actually, it's pretty nice. And um, it's going to be cooled very efficiently and very well. You won't hear the fan come on too much because just the nature of the chip, it doesn't um, need the fan to come on as much. It's, unless you're doing um, little very heavy workflows or maybe you're in Final Cut or Premiere Pro or you're doing something very intensive, you won't hear the fan come on too much. It looks, it's similar. It's not completely the exact same as the older ones. Uh, the screen looks very similar, even though it actually won't fit on the newer ones. Looks like it'll fit, but it won't be usually the same type of connections, the same connector. Let's just grab the other one real quick and just make a little bit of a comparison. This is kind of how they look uh, side to side. Even though this isn't quite the 2020, this is the 2019. It's still the Intel chip, and it's going to be um, pretty similar at least for the internals as you guys can obviously tell here it's pretty similar it's a little bit just of a different layout but it's nothing too drastic um this is the a2159 2019 this is the a2338 m1 um, macbook pro as you can see everything is integrated to the board itself there's no separate hard drive there's no separate ram there's no separate CPU. Everything's is baked in. Um, the speakers even look about exactly the same the trackpad connection looks almost exactly the same um, the battery looks almost exactly the same. You see even the screen here, the screen looks almost exactly the same, but it's not going to work. They are different. Um, it could usually be a different power output or something like that could be a little bit different. Even the screen connections even look the same. And this is an ARM-based chip, and this is more of an Intel chip. Um, the Intel-based chip hasn't quite been li lived up to the, the expectations of especially what the MacBooks is, especially for updates for year to year, how it's, as it really should be. So they kind of... So that may be one of the reasons why they actually went there one way. Another reason is too for power consumption. The Intel based chips really are a lot more power hungry than the, the M1 based chips which which sip power really. Battery life will be a, a lot better especially on the ARM chips. You can think of it more as your cell phone. How um, how the chip in there it, it's, it's much you never hear ever in, in any fan because there isn't usually a fan in here. You see a fan in here because this is more of a laptop. It's using a lot more power and when you use more power intensive 
um, applications, you're going to be seeing that fan might be spinning a little bit more. It's just really keep the chip cool. The thermal constraints are a lot better, especially if there's not as much wattage really going to the actual chip itself. And um, and you're going to be getting a very Mac OS is really optimized for this new uh, M1 chip, and it's going to get even better for that. So you're going to be seeing the power usage really doesn't have to be as high as an Intel chip or versus other Windows machines because the, the software is very optimized for using the ARM-based chip. And what we do expect in the future, they're going to actually go more towards everything being based to the ARM-based uh, chip itself. And you'll be using any of your applications really towards that. ARM is based on a different architecture than the Intel-based and the AMD-based, which is our x86. So they're a little bit different. Applications, if not all of them, are going to be written for Intel chips because most of the, the ecosystem is, is Intel-based. But that's going to be changing soon. So in the meantime, what we're going to be doing is we're using a translation for those type of apps for to use the M1 chip and to actually be able to use those applications that are based for the Intel chips as an emulation really for, for those x86 based apps. And in some cases, it actually does run better. Um, I do know they, they actually made a joke about, uh, you'll see the Surface that actually is, a, it's an ARM-based Surface a surface built chip that was made for surface and it's the arm architecture surface and it actually runs better in emulation on the m1 than it actually does on the native uh, surface chip so this chip's supposed to be quite a beast even though it sits with a lot of power uh, we expect all of them eventually to go uh, this way very 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 soon you see pretty much any mac release especially if you saw the imac that just came out that's gonna be released the ipad actually has the same chip actually that's in here um, it doesn't have a fan in that one, but obviously the applications are still going to be a little bit different. Um, I would expect in the future to see all the iPad, everything to be pretty much one e ecosystem, like the iPad um, OS and all the applications probably run on your Mac. You could probably run everything on the Mac store itself. Um, another good thing, one more th last thing to really talk about is actually the graphics chip is actually on here too. And you're going to be getting a significant boost in the graphics, especially over the Intel-based graphics that you see usually on the, the regular chips. So that's one uh, great thing you're going to be seeing. They always say console-like performance, whatever that really means, but you're going to be getting a quite quite a chip. So just a little comparison between the A2338 MacBook Pro M1 version and the Intel A2159 version. Just wanted to show you just a quick little comparison that's that's that we can at least see and just kind of give you a little bit of our impressions for it. I know it's not the super newest thing, but you'll be definitely seeing that chip more in the newer MacBooks and all the iMac. Most mostly, which would be really cool to see, would be in the um, the Mac Pro to actually see that be released. And we will also love to see one, um, maybe the M1X or with the M2, whatever they're going to call that, and the 27-inch iMac. So we just wanted to take it up and just see if there was any little magic going on in there, anything that's been really any different. Um, looks pretty similar. Obviously, the chip's going to be a little bit different, and just some of the components because of the way the electricity goes, and it's a it's ARM-based board instead. Um, but we just want to see if there's any major differences or anything that you can just really see off the bat. Uh, everything else looks pretty similar outside of the main board itself. If you're repairing a CPU, it's going to be different, but anything else, the, the repairs will probably be pretty similar, especially if there's like a liquid spill or anything like that. Definitely stay tuned for any liquid spill and ones that, would, that we do get in, and we'll actually show you those, and we'll replace components, and we'll do repairs on them. That would be actually really fun. But this, this is a good little uh, tease that we actually do have for you guys, and what's actually coming, because we do get a lot of clients that do have uh, issues with their MacBooks, and we see lots of liquid spills, and we do lots of data recoveries on them. Um, and anything else, we just really hope you guys enjoyed watching. This is more of just an enthusiast video for you guys just to show that we are really, we love what we do and we like to just check out these new MacBooks. Um, it's my first time ever even opening uh, M1. I just want to show you guys and just share my thoughts and everything. It's really cool. Future looks really cool for them. Go ARM based uh, Mac chips. Definitely go, go. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, check the link in the description for our store. We actually did recently open up. We have lots of MacBook parts there, and we also have lots of contact information that you do for any type of repairs that we do. Please leave a like and subscribe for more content. We'll be doing a lot more liquid spill max and um, anything that we really see cool that comes in, we want to show you guys as well. And we really hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, thanks a lot for watching. Bye.